All right, guys, so in the last week, there's been a lot of new updates in the AI space. We had Claude Sonnen 3.7. Today, we just got GPT 4.5. The list goes on and on. And then the last couple of days, we've been covering Claude Sonnet 3.7, showing you how the benchmarks are very crazy. We also did a video showing you how to use it within Cursor. Now, this is great because you can use it in tools like Windsurf, Cursor, or the IDE of your choice for AI coding, and it will work just great. But in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Claude Sonnen 3.7 and using it with their new Claude Code. Now, if you're not familiar with Claude Code, it essentially is their AI coding terminal tool that's similar to maybe something like Aider. We're going to go over how to actually install this, set it up, and get it running so it can actually create full projects for you with front end. It does things like multi-file editing, a bunch of cool stuff. So let's dive right in. Okay, so first things first, here is the Anthropic Docs and all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below as always. You will see here, Claude Code is their agentic coding tool, which Anthropic made, and it is currently in beta as a research preview. Now, the way to actually go ahead and install this is you're going to need to run NPM install. So you can get these directions either right in the Anthropic Docs or within their GitHub repo, it explains the exact same thing. Now, one thing I want to say is at least at the moment of recording this video you can actually only install this it seems on either linux or mac so if you're on windows you can go ahead and make sure you have wsl so you can access a ubuntu or some sort of linux on your pc and then you can go ahead and follow these instructions okay and you're also going to need node.js and once you have all that you can go ahead and run npm install dash g anthropic ai cloud and you're going to want to do this in your linux or mac terminal that's pretty much all it takes once you do that you're simply going to want to run claude in your terminal okay and if you encounter any issues with the install process whether you're on mac linux or pc and doing the whole wsl thing then simply just paste that error into chat gpt and then you should be able to troubleshoot now once you run claude you're going to see the welcome to claude code research preview and you can go ahead select you know different styling options there and it's going to start up Claude code and then it's going to ask you to sign in through Anthropic and this is of course so you can go ahead and use Claude code through the API now it's either going to automatically open up a link or it's going to give you a link and you just can click on that link and then it's going to most likely give you a code you copy that code and then paste it over here and then you're in your account from that point on it's going to look like this so if you want help you can type forward slash help you can see the folder that we are currently in right now and it gave us some tips for getting started so one ask claude to create a new app or clone a repository two ask claude questions about your code base or three ask claude to implement changes to your code base and one thing you guys may notice is i am now in cursor reason being is because i think you know it would be very cool to use Claude code within your actual AI IDE so then some things you may want to use Claude code with and then some things you may want to use something like cursor or Winsor for and I'm also kind of curious to see if Claude code maybe does a really good job with Claude Sonnet 3.5 coding maybe better than something like cursor or Winsor just because Anthropic made it specifically around that model don't know I'm very curious to see though we can go ahead and try right now so a few things if you type exclamation mark that's for bash mode and then forward slash for command. So if we go here, we can see clear conversation history, compact, config, cost. So we can see our cost, doctor, which is just the health of our Claude code installation, help, init, PR comment. So get comments from GitHub pull request, bug, review, login, and log out. All right, so here is my first prompt. So create an XJS app router CRM application. It should be pretty basic to start, but look nice and modern and have a task manager calendar within the app and don't generate too much code. Now, the reason I'm saying make it kind of basic, don't generate too much code is because in my last few videos, uh, if you tell Claude Sonnet 3.7 to generate so much code or make it very intricate, it can take really long and it will generate a lot of code and it will cost you a lot in the API and Claude Sonnet 3.7 is not cheap to begin with. But for that reason, I say definitely be careful with that when you're using it through the API. You may want to adjust your prompts accordingly. Now we're going to go ahead and click on send. Now we can see that it is noodling over here. So I like the UI right here. We can see it's saying I'll create a basic Next.js app router. Okay, so now it's asking to run a bash command right here. So npx create next app. So it's asking us if we want to proceed. We can either say yes 
or yes and don't ask again for npx create next apps or no tell claude what to do differently so this one is really cool where it won't ask again i'm going to go ahead and click on that all right so now it's going ahead and going about our installation process now we're going to cd into our di directory right here and i'm going to allow it to cd for commands in the future Okay, so now it's asking us to set up the components directory and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and allow. Okay, so now it's reading the files in our Next.js app. And you can see the UI here, it's pondering. Okay, now it is suggesting to edit a file like so, and it's changing it up a bit here. So I'm going to say, yes, we can edit that layout.tsx. All right, now it's editing our other page here. Click yes. As you can see, it's hurting right now. All right, now it's going to create our task folder right here. All right, it's making the file. I'm going to click accept. Now it's making our calendar. Okay, so we can see here that it did its task. It said it created this dashboard here for our CRM. I went ahead and launched the development server right here running PMPM run dev. And here is our simple dashboard. We can see it's a simple dashboard here. We have dashboard, total clients, active projects, pending tasks, upcoming meetings new task new event go here under task takes us to our task manager we go here to calendar it takes us to our calendar all right so very basic but it was all done within the first prompt and i did tell it to keep it basic all right so now i'm going to say make it look a lot more modern also the text should be black on white background and black on white background and i want a light mode and dark mode toggle make it all look very impressive we're going to go ahead and click on send and now it is considering and it's doing its thing right here and boom so it's creating these different pages updating the global.css for light mode and dark mode now it's adding in some new components here editing the theme provider right there creating a theme toggle editing our sidebar editing our header here editing our layout.tsx looks like we're getting an error here all right, it's installing Lucid React and Sonar now. All right, now it's finagling right here. It's been finagling for 89 seconds. So pretty damn long finagling. 105 seconds now. All right, made some changes here. I'm going to click yes. Now it's moseying right now. But just created 305 lines. So a lot of new lines here. Like I said, this can generate a lot of code if it just starts running wild. Okay, and boom, now it's saying that it has completed the task right here. So done all these different things, should have light mode and dark mode. Let's go ahead and take a look, and it looks like we have this error still. Yep, I'm going to copy this, paste it over into Claude Coder. I actually know how to fix this, obviously, but I just want Claude Coder to do it. It's a use client right here. Okay, so it's editing the layout now. Now it's mooseying around. All right, so it's making these changes, baking up, cooking in the kitchen right now. Okay, and now it should have made these changes here. So if I go here, and here is our actual CRM app. So a lot different from the first version. We can see it's very dark right now in dark mode. If we go toggle this, looks like it's not working, but we can see our calendars here. Um, looks very nice. We can see down here our... Um, name so no settings page no contacts page yet we could add these pages calendar tasks tasks looks a lot cleaner dashboard dashboard definitely looks a lot cleaner now i'm going to say the light mode and dark mode toggle isn't working okay so now it's claiming that it should have fixed this if we go back to our app here toggle on light mode dark mode still not working Okay, so now it's saying that it's done. All right, so it's still not working. This is unfortunate. All right, guys, so all in all, I think I did a pretty good job. I couldn't manage to get the light mode and dark mode working. Now, personally, I'm going to continue using stuff like cursor and AI IDEs like Windsurf, just because I personally prefer that over terminal AI tools such as Ader or this one. For example, when it's going about editing all the code and whatnot, I find it a little bit more difficult to keep track of what it's actually doing in each file. Whereas when you're using something like Composer, you can kind of see it step by step, but also more importantly, you can also revert back to specific areas where it changed. It's just a lot easier to manage in my opinion in order to ensure that it's creating quality code. I think it's a pretty cool tool and I think it's interesting to see that LLM providers like Anthropic or maybe OpenAI will next are creating these AI coding tools. Who knows, maybe next one of these LLM providers will create some sort of AI IDE and be a part of that race as well like an Anthropic or Claude VS Code fork. 
Other than that, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Have you used Claude Code yet? If so, do you like it? Do you not like it? And what do you think about Claude Sonnet 3.7? What cool things have you been building with it? Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos all the time on AI, AI coding, AI agents, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content and you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and Discord channel, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below. And then also, too, guys, definitely check out our Stride AI Academy for behind the scenes resources, templates, tools, and trainings. And then also too, guys, if you run a business and you need help implementing AI agents into your business, AI custom growth solutions like AI appointment setters, AI cold callers, whatever the case may be, book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not. And then also too, guys, if you're an entrepreneur, developer, founder, whatever the case is, and you want to actually sell these same AI solutions to other businesses and want our exact protocol on how to do this and charge two to 10K plus, book a call down below as well. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.